This video is sponsored by NordVPN, but more on them and a huge deal at the end of this video. Thanks, NordVPN. So, I've been playing Black Ops 4 recently. Uh-oh! Normie alert! Idiot alert! Fucking loser alert! Ah, every game he plays isn't an indie game! Fucking kill him! Kill him! And, uh, I'm sorry to say this, but the game is actually really fun. I know Call of Duty kind of has this overall history to it, where if you play it nowadays, you're looked at as kind of like a sewer man. <laughs> but overall, I'm having so much fun with this one. Now keep in mind with this video, I never owned Black Ops 3, so some of the features in Black Ops 4 that might have been implemented in Black Ops 3, I didn't know about, so it's all new to me, just keep that in mind. I did play a little bit of Black Ops 3 multiplayer at a friend's house, but maybe after two or three hours, I put the controller down and decided that was enough of that. Like I said, previously, I didn't really dive into all of its mechanics and features, I just couldn't enjoy the wall jumping and running and jetpacking and whatever all that shit was. Thank god that stuff isn't in the multiplayer in Black Ops 4. But that doesn't mean that this game didn't come with a hefty amount of changes. For starters, you don't regenerate health over time like in every other Call of Duty game before this. You now have a healing syringe on a cooldown, which is honestly a very good gameplay element change. The usual flow of Call of Duty gameplay before this was shoot a guy and if you happen to get some strawberry jam on your face, just lay down, relax, and wait for it to go away before you go and shoot the next guy. That is entirely different now. It's now a choice if you want to heal or reload your weapon, because both take a pretty good amount of time. That combined with the longest time to kill in Call of Duty history makes a gameplay that feels so unique and fresh. And with all of that, it also seems a little more difficult overall to get kill streaks. I've played a few hundred matches of the multiplayer, and I have seen two gunships, and one came out of my loot crate. Loot crate? I meant to say care package. <laughs> Modern Warfare 2 is my favorite Call of Duty of all time, but you could sneeze in that game in here. Enemy AC on the bomb! So Black Ops 4 being a little more slower going is a welcome change. Okay, so the multiplayer is really fun. We got that squared away. I know you guys want to hear about the new blackout mode because apparently now if you make a video game nowadays, you're legally obligated to make a battle royale mode. Ah, shit, and it's really good. This is the only battle royale game I've played where you can actually feel the quality increase from it being made by a AAA studio. Even though when you jump off the battle plane, you look like you're falling like an ODST drop pod. <laughs> Even if you're not a huge fan of the Call of Duty series, I think we can all agree that it has some of the tightest shooting mechanics ever made in gaming. So with now being in a battle royale setting, there's a whole lot less of oh my god, why did I die? And more of I'm gonna kick this guy's fucking ass. Sure it isn't overly realistic and simulatory like PUBG, but it just feels like the better player wins most gunfights in this game. I know it's necessary to have vehicles in a battle royale game, but it feels so weird driving a vehicle and then getting out and then playing Call of Duty. It just feels so foreign, but it works somehow. All all of the vehicles actually handle super well. They definitely took their time with this and I'm glad, albeit very simplistic, but it works for what it's trying to do. Now, let's uh, let's talk about the map in Blackout. Oh fuck, I love it. Almost every location on this map is a little chunk or reference to previous multiplayer maps in other Call of Duty games. So you might land somewhere and immediately recognize that map from somewhere else and instantly know how to traverse the area. It's fucking genius. And it is not just multiplayer maps. The Blackout map also has areas Areas from zombies. I had no idea that this was a thing. I was playing Blackout and stumbled into an area and then heard that terrifying laugh. And I was like, oh fuck, oh shit. And just like that, I completely forgot I was playing a multiplayer game and I was focused on killing these zombies. And one happened to drop a fucking ray gun. That's right, you can actually kill real players with the ray gun in Blackout. The only thing more fun than that is the fucking grapple gun. I think I would pay $60 for a full game that just had grapple guns and pistols. I, I would freaking love that. Also, there's like this little remote control car you can find. I don't know, it's fun, whatever. <laughs> okay, so the competitive multiplayer is really good, and the new blackout mode is really good, so that just leaves the camp- <laughs> You fucking idiot, it's just zombies! They removed the campaign, dumb dumb. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So zombies obviously makes a return, and this time ships with a ton of maps and game modes, some weirder than others. If I didn't know about Black Ops 4 and a buddy pulled me aside and said, hey, wanna play some Call of Duty, and I was met with this screen and him picking the Berserker class, I would ask him if his brain was feeling like mashed potatoes today, because this clearly ain't Call of Duty. Man, Elder Scrolls sure made some weird changes.
is all three of these game modes put together makes an incredible package. It's been quite a long time since I've recommended a Call of Duty game, 2012 with Black Ops 2 and 2009 with Modern Warfare 2. But right now I can say with full confidence and sincerity that I recommend Black Ops 4. This game is so good. If you felt burnt out on Call of Duty in general and wanted a new game to jump back into the series, this is definitely the one to pick up. Congratulations Activision, it took about six or seven years but you finally got me back. And while we're talking about quality things, I'd like to bring up NordVPN which is today's sponsor. I'm sure you guys have probably heard of NordVPN, they are the single best place if you're looking to get a VPN. If you're like me and you spend 99% of your life on a computer, you're probably going to want to protect your computer. Click my link in the description to get the Cyber Month 3 year deal, that's NordVPN for only $2.99 a month, a 75% discount. And on top of that, if you use my code, CircleTunesHD, you get an entire month for free. We're basically giving away web protection. I can't make these prices any lower. Daniel, can you make these prices any lower? My calculator's broken! Oh boy. Alright guys, so check out NordVPN, use my link in the description and my coupon code CircleTunesHD, and thank you again NordVPN, you guys are awesome, and thank you for sponsoring this video with how crazy up and down YouTube is with their ad revenue. Supporters like this really help the channel, so let's all give a big thanks to NordVPN and go check them out. Thanks guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Gamer out! <laughs>